Hello and welcome to Chip Off the Old Block Toys. I'm Jeff here and today we've got another unboxing and building. This time it's of a great movie. In fact, a movie that, well, I grew up with. It came out in 1981. And yes, I'm old enough to remember when it came out. Anyways, it was called Raiders of the Lost Ark. It was part of the Indiana Jones series. And this is set number 77015. It was just released this year in 2023. 1,545 pieces, five minifigures, and it's simply titled The Temple of the Golden Idol. It retails for $149.99 in the U.S., that is. And like I said, seeing the movie, remember it coming out, so this is a, a movie that, or a set that I really enjoy. It's dear to my heart. Um, and also, I have to say, I own the other version of it, or the slightly different version of it, and that was set number 7623, released in 2008. Now, that was released uh, basically 27 years after the movie was released. And, um, well, they decided 42 years later to do this. Now, that tells you how old I am, or approximately. But anyway, that's not the point. The point is, we need to go ahead and start the building. So hit the like button and consider subscribing, then we'll start.
Welcome back. This concludes the build of set number 77015, the Temple of the Golden Idol from Indiana Jones. All right, guys, I gotta admit, this was a long build and I need a nap. I mean, 1,545 pieces, this took a long time to put together. Anyway, on a more serious note, let's go over the valuation. We always go off of value, creativity, playability, ease of build, and part out value. I'm gonna add one more category, <clears throat> and that's gonna be the total rating. So in other words, I'm gonna take the first five, average them out, and give it a total rating. So that way, it gives some weight to these uh, evaluation ratings that I do. All right, well, let's start off with value. Value was hard for me to come up with, and I'll tell you why. $149.99 is the price point. And with 1,545 pieces and five minifigures, that comes out to 9.7 cents. That's actually a really good price. But here's the problem with that. I felt like Lego bulked this up on purpose. Uh, for instance, is there were places where <clears throat> they used a two plate and a one plate when they could have used a two by two corner plate. And they did the same thing with the bricks in several places. And no, I'm not being too critical. They actually have these colors of corner uh, bricks and plates because I have them in my collection. And so I felt like they just kind of did that to up the piece count to make it look like it's worth more, but it really isn't. I'm not sure how much that really affected the value, but it did in my opinion, because uh, I saw it, I saw it was a cheap move. I give it a nine instead of a 10. <clears throat> Creativity. I would give it a 10, but for the same reason, it's a 9. Because they threw in extra pieces they didn't need to. But, I mean, I do like it. I like the look of the face of this thing. And I like how it falls when you uh, play around with this right here. So first of all, the light comes on. And then it drops. And then the face falls. I think that is really cool. And also, <clears throat> there are other things that, that work on this thing right here. Um, this door right here it opens and in the movie he barely makes it underneath there and grabs his whip <clears throat> they have that giant pit that he that uh, he almost falls down um, I think they did a really good job all together there's just so many different things and also this ball how it rolls I think that's pretty cool so creativity is a nine playability is a ten and that's just because well this looks like the scene from the movie, how those are overgrown jungle. There's the ball rolling. There's the dead guy that was impaled by the sticks. The original professor that went through the, the door where the, like I said, the whip, where he uh, barely makes it underneath there and grabs his whip. The pit that he almost falls into. And then the idle thing where this thing falls. I think that is pretty darn cool. Anyways, you put it all together. Playability is a 10. The ease of build, I can only give it a 6. And here's why. The instructions were not clear on a couple different places. In fact, some of these technic uh, where, they, where they go and where the pins go was not clear, and I don't appreciate that. LEGO needs to do a better job. When it comes to the part out value, I'll give it an eight. There are plenty of tiles, which are good for just about anywhere. These jumper plates are good. These tile modified are good. I like the animals. Uh, when it comes to the spiders, there's three of them. So, I mean, it has a good part out value, but overall, if you average them, it's eight, the overall rating is 8.4. But this does not conclude the video because I have the original of this. Now, it was called Temple Escape instead of the Temple of Golden Idol, but they both have the Golden Idol. And it was released in 2008 and it's set number 7623, 526 pieces, and six minifigures.
Okay, so as you can see, the original has an extra minifigure uh, that the the other one doesn't. It's just an extra skeleton, basically. You got the skeleton here, and you've got another skeleton here. Um, but basically, you have the same. Uh, you have the guy Jack flying the plane here, and instead you've got one of the uh, native warriors. I forgot the name of the tribe, but it, it is said in the movie. Um, if you look at the two sets, or let's look at this set here. Um, the name's slightly different, yes. The piece count, well, it has 526 versus 1,545. However, this one's longer. And I also like the fact that the ball right here is an actual ball. And it actually, it'll roll as well. And I like it better than I do the new version, even though this is cool that you can control it and the ball doesn't um, fly away like this one can. I still like this ball better than I like that one. Um, the pit here is just an open thing. There is nothing. This one actually has black tile modified and they both kind of have the thing with the tile going on, just a little different. They both have the, the golden idol, which is really, looks like it's the same exact piece. Um, even the same color, everything. Uh, this is a little different here. Um, this does not have the skulls that are impaled like these are in the movie. Anyway, they're both good sets, don't get me wrong. I do like them both. I'm glad I own both of them now. <clears throat> and it is kind of weird, though, that this one came out 27 years after the movie. This one comes out 42 years after the movie came out. So, quite a bit of time difference there. But anyway, they're both great sets. And I hope you agree this is a great video. And if you do agree, hit the like button. And if you just, even if you just think it's okay, still hit the like button, please. And please subscribe and turn on all notifications. I currently put out a video almost every day. And also leave me a comment below. All right, guys, I do appreciate it. Be good to each other. Stay safe out there. I'll catch you in my next video.